G'day guys, it's Jesse here. Welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to do a sequel to last week's video in which I relived the 2018 Grand Final. Now, I had a few people in the comments sarcastically, I think, at first say, you know, you should relive the 2015 Grand Final. <laughs> and I took it as a bit of a joke at first, but then I got about five or six people actually said the same thing. So I thought, you know what? It's actually not the worst idea. So in today's video, we're going to relive the 2015 Grand Final between Hawthorne and my beloved West Coast Eagles. I was there in in attendance that day. It was a very dark day for me. Um, for those who don't know, I actually drove from Perth to uh, to Melbourne for the game, starting on the Tuesday, getting there right in time for the grand final parade on Friday with Louis, who has been on the channel a number of times. And yeah, we drove over in a van, got absolutely rinsed the night before the grand final, was stumbling around drunk outside the MCG. Uh, and literally got accosted by some cops who, you know, obviously the grand final is a bit of a high terror threat. So they took our licenses and stuff like that and wrote down our names just in case anything happened the next day, which I can understand, but literally we were just like walking around. So it was, it was a horrible night. Woke up so hungover the day of the 2015 grand final. Um, and I remember walking towards the stadium ready for the game, too hungover to actually feel anything. So it was not in a good state at the start of the day. And then I think maybe around the time the national anthems sort of um, kicked off, that was the first time I started feeling excited. So I wasn't in the best frame of mind, um, which probably wasn't the worst thing in hindsight. But yeah, as we as we go, guys, we're gonna uh, I'm gonna watch the highlights and I'm gonna try and relive, you know, what was a pretty rough day for me personally. So let's get straight into it. Yeah, yes, got a high Chewy, with the, the classic and... duck. Should have been 50 so meters anyway. Uh, this was not. This, this was not far from where I was sitting. Actually, Converting I was like on the third behind him. I remember when he kicked this goal, I was sure we were going to win. I was like, the Eagles are destined to win the flag. Inside the 50, kick is long. That awards Hale. Hale comes from the side, got hands to it, couldn't hang on. McGovern slaps away, rough head. Ducks out of trouble. Brilliant. Rioli puts it through. Yeah, that was frustrating. I don't, we weren't playing badly to this point. It was a good goal. Heard the voice. There's to his captain, Hearn. Bob's one down towards full forward, going back. Oh, wonderful Such a good goal. What a jerk. That is brilliant. Back. This is one of my favourite plays of the day. Look at Wellingham go here. Wellingham gets a bad rap, I think, by Eagles fans because he didn't really have the most successful stint here. But look at this. I, he was actually one of my favourite West Coast Eagles while he was at the club. And that was an amazing individual effort. He hodged Hodgie. And that's hard to do. Smith's having an impact. He has. Just so clean. Gibson, all these lefties that we know so well. And another one wide. Sean Makers has settled brilliantly. Oh, see. see, well, I don't think we were playing badly as such. Space like, the positioning Rocket there was completely off. wrong. Like, get to it on the fall. The, the, for the, for the Hawthorne have at least two free players in their full 50. That was definitely the the Bruce, a bad. You know, something's not right with our setups from that Play on was the call. Diving in there was Hearn. In real trouble down there, that defence at the moment. Wellingham puts it across to Shepard, couldn't find a way through. Seven Northern Eagles onto about three, and, and we still can see it again. That is that hurts. Mitchell, that is a good kick to them. Indecision plus the West Coast Eagles. The roar of that crowd was definitely. Shields. Lacroix worried out of it. Well done, Jure. That's a big win against Lacroix to Hill. Maybe a late goal for the Hawks to Hale to Ruffy. Now Ruffy's got Cyril. And that's how you can expose the web. Cyril's got and Hill. That is terrible. And going to kick their fifth. That, that's just it. Like the Eagles, obviously, to this point. I didn't feel like they dropped their heads, but when you're leaving players like 50 meters on their own, you're obviously not in the right well. frame of mind. To Birchall, to Rioli, all stars in that opening turn. Rioli with a couple of first quarter goals. Now he's hugging the pocket is this here. Is that stupid goal? It is. One on one against Schofield. <laughs> Puopolo got a high tackle. Man, Back to Hodge. That's that was right in front of me. Yeah, I think it, it was, is. it was then Hodge that I was like, this game is just about over already. 
He, the way he plants his feet, if you watch, his feet are absolutely planted when he receives it. He be. knows Surprise, what he's going to do we? before he even gets the ball. He is, well, Pretty it is wild. October, but he is Mr. Sotina. Absolutely <laughs> goes down towards half forward then Gunston yes yeah, so 43 to 12 at this point below though clever knocks like it to his own advantage releases like, Bruce yeah, he tries to already. pull it back towards the middle why not Rioli is lurking he finished up on the deck though McGovern oh this was bullshit balance. Hutchings comes tell me what you reckon it is this is blatantly down, not holding the ball it was a great handball no it wasn't a great handball it was a handball well, the umpire look at this making it beautifully watch it again I mean we probably would have fucked up anyway well, but He's, He's definitely got a hand to that. There's no way. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we were getting absolutely annihilated. He's got another one. Who's second? Puts it back towards the middle. Bounce beats Darling. He's been very quiet. Stratton across to Virgil. Gets it to Gibson. Getting directions from Tuopolo. As a result, he gave it to Smith. Smith goes oh. long. It's a searing kick. Cutting through the afternoon. Just a ridiculous kick. Like Rafi everything was. I don't want to say going their way like they were lucky, like they were clearly well. the better team. That up but like it was just their day when stuff was happening like that. It was we just couldn't get anything clean. Here. Going back through the middle. That's exactly what they have to do. If they play safe, there's no chance. West Coast. They have to play brave footy, but hit targets. Sure, his hand pass didn't. Shepard gets it back to him though. No composure. Well, like the difference in the, the level of composure between the two teams. Is hard. Very quiet. Takes the mark close to the boundary. Short. It bounces in the shoes there. Kick from Hill wasn't great. But wow, that's, I don't even remember that goal. That is a beauty from Jeff Hill. Out of nothing. Well done by Pritis to Gaff again. I think I just sort of let go of this game. Sends a high ball inside the forward 50. And Yo, for his size, a wonderful area. Let's see. Yo. Really Sad day for uh, for Yo. I think he had five disposals that day. This was a great this kick, and this right on half time felt like an important goal. I felt like you know that gave us a little bit of life. We're not completely out at this point. The captain gets away, looks inside the forward fifty. Now can Darling take a mark? Yes, he can. <laughs> no one remembers that good grab. They just remember his drop catch. And it's good. A little bit of a resurgence here for the Eagles. Oh. Gee, this is big for the Eagles. Just enough to get my hopes up in time. Breaks the line. For them to be dashed. Well, oh, no. he had so many chances, Shuey, to do something good. Oh, well played, Sinclair. Slapped it across to Lacroix. Sheep finds himself in space. Yeah, so this Dropping is a passage here. Darling, so, oh, that is shameful. That is really bad. What is it with you and Graham Strong Finals, mate? Didn't need more than one chance. That so with that, between Shuey, if that had been goals, it would have cut up to 13 points. We definitely still would have lost. But it just would have added a different edge to the game. But good instead, kick like, to obviously... Rioli. Oh, oh brilliant. Good grab. And then Rioli, quick as a flash. Shepard against the That is the a tie. confident Did kick. pretty well. It was a Hill terrible goes kick, goes to really. the pocket. Gunston over the top. Show and Makers gets the goal. Yeah, yeah that was pretty much Ronaldo in the coffin, I would say. Kennedy. That goal, yeah. Gee, Forley having a day here. Building it back forward, and Gunston's <laughs> taken the mark, unopposed in the Should end. never let that happen. Rid best. And then Mitchell's kicked to half forward. Belted it from behind was Wellingham. Cut up by Rioli. Good, Rioli. To Too Bruce. Sick. And then Bruce gets it out wide. To Puopolo. Gunston again, the danger. It's a brilliant kick. Mm. Good, good, well nothing weighted kick there. Not too up. much you can do about that defensively. Smith in the pocket. And nothing Clever. you can do about this defensively. Oh, what an absolute Clever. belter of the goal. Brilliant. <laughs> He's kicked too many freaks on that horse on the team. Today. Just can't keep him down. Mitchell finding a way. Suckling in a beautiful spot. Gets the goal. He comes on the ground. Ball is on the wing. Hearn. Not a particularly good kick. And Lakers stood up remarkably well. Let's just say whoever wins the last quarter wins the play, He's right? Got again. So we even win the last and quarter. And then Ruffy, does he check side it? No, he goes, well, it looked 15, not paid. And then Gaff wraps up Gunston. Ball not out. Suckling doesn't get a kick away. Ball still not out. Marston. Hearn. Great smother, Ruffy. Marston. Bruce. Free kick. Oh, oh, lucky a little bit. Definitely a free kick. But and Smith kicks the goal. Yeah, that was always going to happen. It's a goal to Smith. He's got his third. Forward. McGovern is the target. He used a lot of strength there. Held his position. And now Hill running goal work. Did he kick no, this one? Messed it up. He messed oh, it up. That's right. Yeah. What a terrible oh, compromise. Yeah. Brian Lake. Love that. The coach would love that. Playing the game. Former right teammate. To though, the very too. end. So, the last moments.
Gaff and Prittis. So Hawthorne have done it. The first team in the 18 team competition yeah, to go back. Feeling. To back. Probably better to than back. losing by a point. They're three Peters. They are remarkable. Well done to that Hawthorne team. Obviously, that three-peat shows how good they were. Um, the way I kind of always thought of it was I actually believed the Eagles were the best side. Over the course of that year, we finished higher than Hawthorne. We smashed them in week one of the finals. But as you can see from that grand final, the that Hawks team just had a level the Eagles didn't. Uh, the Eagles weren't capable of playing as well as that Hawthorne team could. And it's kind of a thing, you know, we see it with Richmond as well, where you don't necessarily finish first. It's how good you are when it counts, and that Hawthorne team had a level that, frankly, no one else in the competition had. So um, they were obviously unreal. And then that kind of kicked off a little period where we just couldn't beat Hawthorne at the MCG, even when they were bottom four, I think they were. Or they were they were close to the bottom of the ladder, I think, in 2017, and they annihilated us again. Um, they lost to the Gold Coast by, like, 90 points, and then, lost, and then they beat us the week after. So, yeah, a little bit of a hoodoo. Hawthorne just have that style that can pick us apart, I guess, and particularly then because we tried that Weagles web, um, which could be you know easily exposed on the wider ground. I guess we did beat Richmond earlier that year, who finished fifth at the G, uh, but evidently it just we just couldn't do it against Hawthorne. So look, I think 2018 has kind of you know allowed me to let go of the 2015 grand final a fair bit. You know, 2015, as I said, felt like was a missed opportunity because you know we. I mean, I don't want to get into the whole host the grand final debate again because I don't want to actually move the grand final. Uh, but we did finish higher than Hawthorne. And, you know, anytime you lose a grand final is a missed opportunity. Um, but 2018 has made me completely comfortable with 2015. And like I said, that Hawthorne team, you know, were the best team in the competition for three years in a row. So congratulations to them. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this depressing episode of, uh, of True Footy Reacts, I guess. Let me know in the comments what other grand finals or even just you know, events you want me to, to react to and relive. It doesn't have to be Eagles stuff. I uh, I wasn't necessarily going to make heaps of Eagles ones of these. Could do other big grand finals. Um, I might even touch on 06 and 05, um, you know, the Leo Barry Mark and the Eagles flag win at some point, but totally open to your suggestions about things to react to as we get through these isolation months. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you somewhere very soon on YouTube. Cheers.